Hey besties, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. I don't think I've done a Primark haul for literally over a year, like I'm not going to lie. I don't really shop at Primark anymore, I find it very difficult to shop in, gets me a bit overwhelmed, it's a lot of stress and I don't know, I just don't tend to go to Primark anymore. Um, but I had the hospital the other day and I took a trip afterwards just to see what they had in, have a little browse, see if they could impress me. To be fair, the main reason I went is because I saw a bikini on TikTok and I just needed to get it. Luckily they had it, otherwise it would have been a wasted trip. But I ended up actually picking up a lot of stuff. I spent like 90 pounds. I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up in case any of you wanted to know what's in Primark at the minute. It's currently one o'clock on Sunday and I really want to get this up tonight. So sorry if this is a little bit rushed, but I really wanted to give you this video today. So fingers crossed we can get this done. First thing I picked up is this little necklace. It was £3.50 and it's this like gold, like choker style necklace with a little flower on it. I love this whole flower vibe at the minute. There's a lot of dresses with big roses on them. The big like, you know, rose... I like tie up things i have had one just something a little bit more subtle a little bit more me just a nice gold necklace very very cute and only three pound fifty i feel like i'll get a lot of wear out of this throughout summer but especially on holiday they had so many different like styles and little pieces like this i could have spent an absolute fortune i'm not gonna lie but i tried to hold back i just got what i really wanted and needed so i just went for this one this is the bikini that I was talking about. How stunning is this? So the top was £5 and I got it in an 8. Um, they didn't actually have a 6, but I'm kind of glad I got it in an 8 because it is quite small. The bottoms are very itty bitty. I probably should have bought a 10 in these. I think Primark bikinis are just very small. Um, very bright for me. I'm very much a plain beige basic girl, but when it comes to bikinis, I do quite like something a little bit more out there something that's gonna like make me feel a bit more tanned and i just loved these two colors together i actually had braces when i was 13 maybe 12 probably 12 and you know when you had train tracks and you could get different colors i literally had this color combo it was giving me proper nostalgic braces vibes so i had to just get it it's what i went in there for and i'm actually really glad i got it i feel like it's super super cute i love a tie up bikini as well like where you can tie the sides only thing is they don't like hoist up too much like the fit of primark bikinis just it's not my favourite, I'm not going to lie, but it is very cute and I'm very glad I got it. They also had this in like a blue and orange, which my friend Emily actually has. She took it to Tenerife with us. They didn't have my size in that, otherwise I would have got that one as well because she looked so nice in that with a tan. They also had a couple of other colour combos, but this one was my fave and I really didn't need any more. Then I grabbed these flip-flops. I actually picked these up in a medium. I'm not going to lie, I was in a rush. I was just whizzing around Primark. Um, they were only £4.50, but I got them in a medium, which is a five to six. And I am a size three to four. However, these actually fit me really, really well. I don't know if they're going to be the most comfortable flip-flop to like wear around. It's probably going to be more of like a run to the pool, run down to breakfast kind of flip-flop. They kind of feel a bit like cardboard. Um, but I just love this like material for like the strap of the flip flop. It's almost like a linen, I don't know, but they're just so me. Like I saw those and I was like, Primark. Quality obviously is not going to be the best. They are £4.50, but they are very, very me. And I feel like I would pay like £30, £40 pounds for these from Zara. So to get them for £4.50 in Primark, just a little holiday staple. Then I grabbed this little set. I don't really know why I got this. I just really like navy blue at the minute. Not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna return this because I just think it's a little bit overpriced for Primark. Picked up these little shorts, which are a tenner, um, and they say Yale, Yale on them. I think that's a university in America, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, but I just really like wearing navy at the minute. And then obviously you guys know Grey Marl is my absolute number one colour to wear. I will never ever stop wearing it. Um, so I picked up this jumper in a size small and it's just grey with the navy writing on it. I thought it would be a cute airport outfit. It does look really, really cute on. Like I do love the set i just feel like it's not worth how much i paid it's 26 pound for the set which isn't expensive but for primark quality i just feel like i could get something better elsewhere um i'll try and insert like a trial clip or pictures of it on just so you guys can see what i'm talking about like it does look really really nice like i do love it i just don't know if it's worth 26 pounds you tell me should i keep it or should i return it i'm just not sure Here's the set on. So as you can see, it is really, really cute. I love the grey and the navy together. Like, it is really, really nice. The more I look at it, the more I do feel like I actually do want to keep it. I don't know. I don't know if maybe the shorts are just a little bit too short for me. I can't decide. You guys are going to have to tell me. Do I keep this or do I not? Is it worth it? Am I going to wear it enough? Please let me know. With the tan, it does look 
really cute. I just don't know. I can't decide. I think it's the quality that's throwing me off because, I mean, it's quite thin, but also for summer that's actually what we need. We don't want big, thick winter jumpers. You guys are going to have to tell me. Do I keep this? Do I return it? What do we think? It is very me, and like with my new balance trainers, it's going to look super cool. Like, I know it's going to look cool. I think it might have to stay. I don't know, I do kind of love it. It's giving like sporty fun vibes. I'm torn now. Please let me know what you think. Oh, it's an extra small. No wonder. Oh my God, guys, I picked up this jacket because I literally fell in love. It's 20 pounds and it's like a denim jacket. But it's super like thin. It's almost like a shirt. Um, but I thought I could double denim this. Like wear this, do it up, get some jeans the same color. The hanger of this said a medium. No wonder, when I put it on, I was like, this is so small. Like, surely this cannot be a medium. It's an extra small. This is going to have to go back. I'll probably end up exchanging this for a bigger size because I do really like it. It just didn't fit the way I wanted it to. It did fit, like, an extra small. That makes so much sense now. God, I'm so stupid. Um, but it is literally just, like, this denim shirt jacket thing. Um, I just had a vision of wearing it done up with some matching jeans. And then maybe, like, Air Force. I don't know, Converse could be cute. I do really like it and that makes perfect sense. Why didn't I check inside? One thing about Primark, you always have to check the actual clothes rather than the hanger because the hanger is never correct. That's one reason I don't like shopping in Primark. Better keep that receipt then because that's gonna have to go back. It's a denim like jacket on. Obviously, like I said, I got it in the wrong size. If this was a medium or even, even a small, I don't know. I think I'll just love it so much more. But the plan was to wear it done up like that with some matching jeans. So you get the vibe. It would be super cute. I just feel like it's just a little bit too small. But obviously I did think I picked up a medium. So that explains it. This is an extra small. I just love this colour of denim, especially in summer. I just wish I'd got the right size. Another little accessory I picked up is this belly chain. You guys know, belly chains are just my favourite thing ever, especially on Holly Bobs. I love wearing a belly chain. I feel like you could wear the most simple outfit as soon as you put the belly chain on. It just makes it look so much better. So this was £3.50 and you get two chains. Two chains. Um, it's a little starfish. How cute is that? And then it's obviously got like these little green and blue and pearl little bits and bobs hanging off of it. Again, don't usually go for colour. I would usually go for like a like beige shells or like just plain gold. But I really love this and I'm loving pearls at the minute. I've got this pearl necklace with a matching bracelet. And I just thought that is going to look so cute. Imagine with a bikini. I've actually got a bikini this exact colour. Um, and I just thought that is going to be so cute. And it's only £3.50. Bugs. Then I picked up these shorts, which I hate on me. I'm not going to lie. The actual shorts are fine. They just do not suit me one bit they were 12 pounds and they're like cargo like toggle waist shorts i don't know what if it's the color i don't know they just do not suit me at all they had them in a different color it was like a light beige and i kind of wish i got those i was debating for ages which ones to go for ended up going for these i'm just just not vibing with them i'm not gonna lie i don't know what it is i just i don't enjoy them they just look a bit weird on me quality is really nice and like I'm sure they'd look nice on other people. For me personally, I just don't think they suit my body shape. And for £12, I'm not sure. I would expect them to be more like six or eight pounds. I feel like I'm really slating Primark's prices and stuff here. I'm not, like, I understand things obviously are rising in price and whatever, but I'm just being completely honest. They don't feel like £12 worth of shorts. So this is the shorts on. I don't know if you guys are gonna agree. I just feel like they don't do anything for me. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm wearing them wrong. Am I supposed to pull the toggles in? I honestly, I'm not sure. There's, ah, there's just something about them that I just, I mean, they're not awful. Like, they're not awful at all. But I just feel like, for me, they just don't really do anything for me, especially for £12. Maybe it's the colour, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just being silly. Maybe you guys will absolutely love them. I mean, they do look quite nice with this bodysuit. Maybe I tried them on with the wrong thing last time. I'm not sure. I don't know. They're not awful. But I don't want to have things in my wardrobe that I'm never going to wear. Finally, I picked up this skirt, which I do absolutely love. This colour is... One of my favourite colours to wear, I really, really like it. I think it's because I'm very much a neutral beige kind of girl. Like, I just like to wear grey, black, white, creams. Um, but this colour I actually wear a lot, especially throughout summer. I've got a lot of things this, like, it's like a sage green. And I think it's because it is a colour, but it's very muted. Um, this was £8, and it's just like this little frilly skirt. When I tried it on, I did actually, like, roll it over just to make it a little bit shorter. I think with a nice chunky belt. 
and a little crop top, a little bralette, a nice little like shirt. I think that'd be super cute. I have had things very similar to this, so I probably didn't need to get it. But you know when you just know that you're gonna like something, and I know that on holiday, I'll probably end up wearing this a lot. Um, especially like down to the pool, like, over my swimwear. Little lunch, like cover up kind of thing. I just really, really like that. And it's only eight pounds. Perfect. So this is the little skirt on. I have rolled it over once, um, but like I said, nice brown chunky belt, black chunky belt. Don't even, mm, it actually doesn't even look too bad with this bodysuit. I was going to say I wouldn't wear it with something like this, but do you know what? It actually doesn't look too bad. I just love it so much. The colour is just 10 out of 10. Fits 10 out of 10. Material, everything. I love this so much. If you've got a holiday coming up and you head into Primark and you see this, I would 100% put it in your basket. It just gives proper cute energy. I feel like it's a pretty skirt. And if anybody sees Primark doing this in any other colours, please let me know because I will get it. I also picked up a powder foundation because I really, really wanted to try it because I see people saying about like covering your spots with a powder foundation. But I got the complete wrong shade, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, it did the job, but it just made my face look a little bit funny. But I definitely will head back to Primark and pick up a different shade because it did really work. And I think it was like two, three pounds, which is perfect. But yeah, that is everything that I picked up, guys. I did actually film a TikTok of coming to Primark with me um, where I showed a lot more that was in store and like some other bits and pieces so go ahead and check that out on my TikTok but yeah that is everything that I picked up sorry that this video has been a little bit rushed but like I said I really want to get this up for you this evening let me know if you want to see any more Primark hauls because I want to get back into it I want to love Primark again I just find it so stressful Primark home has been slacking as well I am a lover of Primark home but recently a big fat no every time I go in everything's just the same I feel like it just needs a big update you know I need some new bits and bobs and Primark Home is usually my favourite. But yeah, that's everything I picked up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys have had a lovely weekend. Sending so many positive and happy vibes for the week. The sun is going to be out, I hope, all week. Um, but yeah, enjoy it. Stay safe. I love you all and I'll see you very soon for another video. Ciao. Mwah.